Well, hello everybody, welcome back down into the dungeon garden. Today, we're doing something garden related. It's a miracle. I know, I bet you all thought I was kind of taking a strange tangent with the channel. And I have been, but there are reasons. There are reasons for everything. Today, I want to show you a couple things popping up in the seedlings. And at viewer request, so many of you have requested this. I am going to cut down the sand dollar a little bit, but I will try and clone it. Now I'm going to try four different things because those of you who watch my channel know that cloning peppers and I do not have a good history. So hopefully one of these four different options that I'm going to try is going to seal the deal and I'll be able to do this consistently in the future because that would be really, really nice. So down here in that 72 cell tray, we'll just move this off. Probably should have done that while I had two hands available. We've got the dino kale that is doing so well in the back. And right down there, you can just barely see it. Let's zoom in a little bit. There is a bit of green curled kale popping up and there's a little bit there shoe fly shoe a little bit up there I've got one little seedling popping up where is it there we go in the Russian red kale so not a whole lot going on there yet but this isn't on a heat mat or anything this is just getting whatever warmth is shared by the fluorescent light still nothing growing on in the garden salsa but this one might be popping up so we're gonna watch that over the next few days but all three of these squares our garden, garden salsa peppers, hopefully. But in the world of is popping up, I was so worried that I had killed those sugar rush creams rooting around. And look, today I've got three of them popping up in there. So that is super sweet. Ooh, and I just noticed in the Marconi red beside it, that seed is popping up too. That was buried under soil yesterday. So we might just have a sprout in there soon. Gosh, maybe I should look through the rest of these. All right, so looking through the rest, it looks like right, where's my finger? Right up there, we've got a seed with a bit of a tail popping up. Again, I'm pretty sure that was under soil, so that's a yellow ghost. Very exciting. And I don't know if I'm just being hopeful, but just up from dead center, it looks like that might be a seed tail sticking out on the little blue peppers which I haven't grown for a while because I thought I was out of seeds. But as it turns out, I still had a couple, so sweet. And checking over here. It's not too surprising that most of these haven't popped up yet. Again, they're not on a heat mat or anything, so they don't really have that bonus. And I've got a lot of old seeds here, so it's all good. Some will pop, some won't, and the season will carry on, won't it? But it's this wiggling bugger here that is the primary focus of today's video. In particular, it's these sections here that are doing so well, but are much taller than I can deal with down here. So something's got to be done. So we have these glasses here. Now I'm particularly fond of these glasses, but we don't use them very often. And I've got this massive beer stein water mug that I use. And uh, well, I never clean it, so it's it's always on the go. But I've got four of these. I've got four different ideas, so it seemed to me this is a good opportunity. These are a little bit tinted green, but not not enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these larger chunks of PVC pipe, and I'm going to cut them so that they fit in the center. And the base of the cutting that will hopefully be developing roots, with any luck in all four of them, is protected from you know side light and such because you know apparently that can be a bit of an issue I guess that's kind of why uh, those cloth pots work so well but I'm gonna do that off camera cut these down and prep those glasses and then we'll discuss the rest of the plan all right so I guess I'm not gonna do that because as it turns out this is just a little bit too small for that bigger pipe and the pipe that does fit inside here is just too skinny so whatever I'm just gonna use the glasses so I guess we'll get straight on to the next part of the plan. So I do have on hand these general hydroponics nutrient mixes. I have the Flora Micro, which is a 501, the Flora Bloom, which is a 054, and the Flora Grow, which is a 216. So all of these inherently have different levels of NP and K in them, 
but I think this one here that's the uh, serious nitrogen boost also has all of the little subtle things that go along with it. So I really don't know how this is going to work out, but over on my glasses, it doesn't seem to be showing up well in the viewfinder. I've got fish, fish and micro, fish and bloom, fish and grow. I'm going to put a drop of each of those nutrients into their appropriate glasses. So the bloom into the bloom, the micro into the micro, obviously, grow into the grow. And I'm just going to do regular fish tank water in here. And we're going to see uh, which of these four is, is going to root faster or better or stronger or at all for that matter. So I'm going to fill them up and we'll start adding the newts and mixing all that up. All right, so we're just starting with the flora micro here. As you can see, that's got a very deep sort of maroon color to it. Just trying to get it to a point where I'll be content. That's probably an awful lot for uh, the amount of water I'm mixing this with. But the point is to hit up those nutrients. Now I've got to stir this up really well. Oops, <laughs> dropped my eyedropper. And uh, continue to do the same with the other two types of nutrients. I don't think there's much point in putting that on camera. We'll get back once that's all prepped. All right, so from my admittedly very limited understanding of the values of NP and K and basically what they do for your plants, it's my understanding that N is basically for growth, P is basically for root formation, and K is for like immunity. So, therefore, my money's kind of on the fish water with the bloom, because if the camera would focus here for a second, we can see that the flora bloom is a 054, which means it doesn't have anything for growth, but it does have for root and immunity. The second bet that I've got is that probably the flora grow will do all right. It's got a low nitrogen, low root and fruit, but it's got a huge boost of the immunity booster, as I understand it. Now, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about what NP and K do in the very super short version, but um, yeah, so I mean that puts the Flora Micro as probably my, my last place contender with uh, just regular fish water possibly even coming in ahead of it. We're just going to have to see. Now taking cuttings off this beast, um, I'm not entirely sure about what's going to be best. I know with mint it's a good idea to take like four nodes, so I'd go one, two, three, all the way down to here for the fourth node, but that is way too long for a pepper cutting. But basically, if you do that with the mint, these bottom two are way more likely to produce the roots you need, and this top one, you know, might die off, but probably won't. So, I don't know. Now, I've watched Kang's video many, many times, and uh, I get excited every time I watch it and go out and try and root some more peppers, and it just keeps not working for me. But we're going to take some cuttings from this anyway, because it's got to be, it's got to be shortened. This thing is just too tall for any of the light options, and I've, I've got to do something. So, we hope for the best, right? What do we do on the JT Bear channel? We hope for the best! <laughs> so I'm going to cut these, because that's a two-handed chore. And I am going to rinse them all quite vigorously in the fish tank to get rid of any aphids that might be hiding on there. Run, fishies, run! You love the aphids, but you fear the plants. I don't think they're too sure about the hand either yet, but... All right, I will have washed off the vast majority of the aphids that are in there. I tried to make these cuttings all reasonably the same size and all that. Um, so really, it's just a matter of waiting now, as I understand. I mean, I can try capping these. I've got a few of these little fruit cups around. I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments about whether or not these should be capped or not. I don't remember from Kang's video if he did. I guess I should have washed it again today, but you know me, charging bravely, foolishly forward, a little bit of both most of the time. I need to find another cap for this, and then this one here, we're going to try putting in some soil, and we're definitely going to cap that one. So I have kind of savagely lipped, ripped off, lipped off. I have kind of savagely ripped off the leaves that are going to be under the soil level, and I am going to uh, leave this... Only about half full for now, I think. And we're just going to kind of like rudely shove that sucker in there. Not so much for half full. 
All right, I don't see the cup is half empty or half full. I see it is completely full because I overfilled it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna put some water into the bottom cup of our double cup system here. And hopefully this salsa jar is a perfect fit. Stellar! And that is, I guess, where we're gonna leave these five cuttings for today. We'll check back on them from time to time as we tend to do around this channel. And taking a quick look at everything else here. I was kind of laughing this morning because it almost looks like this matchbox here that had all the flowers on it. This one in the middle almost looks like it's, it's an actual pepper bum and not a flower. So, I don't know. Maybe that's forming a pod? That'd be crazy if it was already forming a pod. So I, I find it hard to believe, but I do like the, the positive outlook and the potential of maybe... And I think that's basically where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Not a very long one, um, but you know, they can't all be five hour videos. <laughs> Actually, I guess eh, I've been averaging 10, 12 minutes lately, but still. I am still working on that fish cam video. Trying to make it a little more lively and entertaining than some of the past ones have been. So that means quite a few trips down here with the underwater camera. <laughs> But we'll get it. We'll get it. They'll get used to it sooner or later. And yeah, that is where I'm going to wrap it up today. I think tomorrow I'm going to be doing kind of a tribute to Alex at Alberta Pepper. And I will be making some spicy crispy treats. So if you haven't checked out his video yet, you've got to do it. Go check out Alberta Pepper. And I think it's like making rice crispy treats for the live stream or something along those lines. Trust me, you'll when you find the title, you'll, you'll know it. Um, but... That man is sick. I love him. That's that's a lot of pepper-based pain that he put into those Rice Krispie squares. And from everything I heard re-watching yesterday's live stream, because of course I missed it live, but um, from everything I heard, it's looking like Friday, absolutely, period. If nothing else, Charles P. will be getting into his because he does not want to be eating a stale Rice Krispie treat, which I can completely understand. So, yeah, tune in. Wednesday to see what's going on in the live stream because they might take care of it Wednesday. Uh, I think they're waiting on Brando to get his. And or if not Wednesday, tune in on Friday because there will definitely be some hot pepper death crispy tasting going on. I don't intend to make mine death crispies, but uh, I do intend to make them spice crispies. So yeah, check out uh, my channel tomorrow and I'll show you kind of what I'm doing there. And definitely check out Alex over at Alberta Pepper. I'll throw a link up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, <laughs> those are some scary looking Rice Krispie treats. There's a reason they're calling these things death crispy treats. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow from the kitchen, but on the main channel. All right.